Getting around an L takes a little bit of time. And it took me a little bit of time to remember exactly how to add a friend. There's lots of different places to look at friends. I've added the widget to my dashboard. You can also come up into the friends menu through the tools. But what I found out is that the easiest way to add friends to your collection is to actually go through the members page. And this might uh, take a little bit of time, but you can scroll through here. And I think I have some folks I want to make friends on some later pages from earlier this summer. I'm, I'm looking for my Alaska partners. And as I scroll through here, I might see someone that I recognize. And there's a couple folks from Alaska. Maybe there's more on the next page. There we go. Here's Rob Taylor from Anchorage. And if I click on Rob's profile, I'll see what he's entered. And good job, Rob. You've entered your profile information. And I can add him as a friend. And in this way, I can keep track of um, Rob and I can add him to my activity list if I want to see what's happening with my Itsy Sue friends in Alaska. And at this point now, I should be able to go back to my tools and I can see where I've collected my friends. They should all pop up here. And here's Rob. Here's Marcy and Kevin and some other folks from Cohort 3. And I can um, send messages now to these folks. They'll show up in my messaging center and I can also create a collection of friends and I have created a collection for our Alaska cohort number three and in order to edit that collection I will click edit and as I go through the different folks I've collected as friends I can select them and put them in my collections and how this can be helpful is when I go back to my dashboard and I look at my activities I can actually have my activities fed in from friends Alaska cohort 3 save and now as I'm working with my elementary group or my um, cohort, I can see the activity of everybody who's in my group or in my collection of friends. So again, remember that to add friends, add them in the members area, and then to organize your friends, you can organize them in the friends area. And make sure that you friend your instructor because that will allow you to um, use the messages to send a message to anybody who is on your friend list. I hope that's helpful and good luck in getting started with your online course.